Welcome to this video. <clears throat> this video is about skyboxes. A skybox is, in this case, this kind of bluish hill here. Now we have a, a not real world here, so the skybox is going to look kind of funny because it generally ends there and, and the, the, the fake uh, floor there is, is going to make it look kind of funny. But we're going to explore them. And they're simple. They're just uh, just something to know. So we're going to go to the asset store and we're going to look for skybox and of course we're going to press that fantastic free button skybox and free and skybox oh, generate skyboxes okay that looks interesting and, and oh music I was hoping for words Okay, maybe this one has words. It says it's a video. That's this is really cool. It says it's free. Everybody skyboxes and meshes. That would be like so cool. That is fantastic. Uh, okay, let's look at details. And I'm gonna right click so I don't get rid of this whole window here and I'm going to open with a new tab. This package uh, creates stunning AI generated skyboxes. Accelerate your environment. Import you a, import to use this package, a Blockade Labs API key and subscription is required. Okay, enough of this one. That's something to look for. Sometimes <coughs> they'll require a subscription. So even though you can download this free, you can't use it free. Other times, uh, it'll say something like, it uses the such and such tool set, and you click on their link and you find out you have to buy it. Okay, so we'll go to this one. Fantasy Skyboxes. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Again, we don't have a great uh, ground area, but um, those look fun. I'm just gonna. Be, now, I want you to go through this list, and there's probably gonna be, you know, in this case, four pages of them. We'll hit the last page. Sometimes we, you'll get to things that aren't really a skybox or whatever you typed in. So I kind of go backwards. Nebula skyboxes looks interesting. Some of them you'll download them, and they're really low quality, and it's, you don't want to use them. So what I'll do is I'll download one that's I probably won't want, and I'll show you how to delete it. Is that a skybox? Interesting. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's find one that we don't want. <coughs> I don't want this one. So I'm going to accept it. And I'm going to open it in Unity. I'm going to download it. And it's Farland Skies from B O R O D A R. The reason I care about these two names is sometimes the names they put in the project folder don't match what you think. So you spend some time looking for them. I'm going to import them. And it's got a few import. I could have looked up there at the name, but I already forgot to. It shouldn't take too long. Skyboxes make the world. If you're going to be in an indoor all time, all, the whole game is indoors, it doesn't matter. That is your sky. Okay, that one was easy. Uh, let's. It's got several skybox boxes. And even if we like one, I am going to uh, show you how to delete it. So, when you ha think you have a skybox you want, you go to Window, uh, Rendering, Lighting, and then uh, Environment, and then here, Skybox Material. It'll give you a whole list of things. Uh, oops, I want to move this over more. <coughs> 
some of which make no sense. Like I can make it the bear of this guy, but it doesn't like it because you, you can see the feet. You can see it's about any item can be used as a uh, skybox. But isn't that strange? I don't see any of the ones made fantasy names with fantasy names in them. Cloudy. Oh, well, there we are. There we go. There's a skybox. Not. It's kind of ugly. All right. All right. So we find these sky boxes and we don't want them. That, that's what it does. That's a sky box. It basically fills in. Some of them don't fill in the area here. They don't, they only start at the horizon. And you f kind of hide that by putting mountains or hills or rocks or something in there. But, but let's just say we didn't want this. The first thing we do is we go back to pa package manager and we see if it's almost in uh, in the project. I'm betting it won't be because most never are. The next thing we're going to do is go to our energy, go to my assets, sorry, go to my assets, and I'll look for the word fantasy. And what was it called? Fantasy Skybox Free. There's no remove button. So the last resort is you just go over here, you click the directory, top level directory under assets that are created, you right click and you delete them. A third way to do this, which is what I'll start next, although I won't delete them, but you'll get the point. Let's go to, uh, let's save what we just did. Yep, thank you. I double clicked on colliders down here. And then I'm going to click on colliders, oops, once, and control C, control V, and call this one skybox. I wish these were alphabetical. If you think you're going to make a bunch of changes to a scene and you uh, you don't want to have to undo all the specifics, you can you can copy the scene, make the changes to the copy, and then if you don't like it, delete the scene. You'll still have to delete the fantasy skybox. But if it's a if it's something that's more complicated than that, then um, skybox skybox. Then you'll have to. It, it sometimes it's good to make a copy of the scene and then delete the copy or delete the original, whichever one you don't like. All right, so now we're going to go back to the asset store, and I'm going to pick one that I'm going to. I like the night sky ones, or uh, maybe ones with lots of clouds. And free. I wish I would remember that setting too. Um, okay, let's let's just. It says I own this one. Okay, what's it called? Fantasy Skybox Free. This is another set of scan Fantasy Skyboxes. Same company. This is what makes it tricky, what you're going to delete. Um, Real Stars. It says I have that one. Okay. I don't have this one, so we can go through the whole step. Interesting. 8K skybox pack free. 8K is the resolution. We're going to get that one, except it's thinking open in Unity. It's thinking. This time I'm going to try to remember what it says on the pop up. <clears throat> But this is the process, and <clears throat> over time you'll discover which ones you like and which ones you don't, and you'll have a, a select selection. The problem is I don't think you can remove them from here. I can right-click. So you'll have a whole lot of, of uh, things that you own that you don't even want. Import. And sometimes you have to go through them again. Okay, 8K Skybox, that's probably the name that will show up down here. So while it's doing that, I guess I can't. I wanted to show you these other buttons. <clears throat> and I, uh, again, you don't have to do exactly what I do. You can pick the Skybox you want. You can try it. You can delete it. Or you can keep it if you think that's maybe something you're going to use later. You can keep it, you just remove it out of your project. Which I guess is what I was saying anyway, but 
so it's loading I'm f I feel like it's 1970 again and I'm doing a radio show and I'm not supposed to have any dead air but I'm having dead air because this is taking longer than I thought sometimes you can uh, press these buttons while it's loading but not with this one and not some not maybe in this phase let's see skyboxes let's go back and just look while it's playing and this one is interesting too I wonder what that will look like I don't know why it shows them in this phase because okay that looks nice but did any of you know that this would eventually be this so I'm not sure what that was for wispy okay Real stars. I use that in one, which was kind of fun because um, it labeled the stars for you. For it. and you could go outside on a clear night and find them in the, if you're near the right area. I also use the Milky Way a lot. I like that one. It's great for nighttime settings. <clears throat> I can hear the disk drive on my machine, so I'm not too worried yet that it's done. This is going zzz zzz zzz. Zzz. This is interesting. Oh, those are cool. There's just lots of things you can play with. The disk drives have started being active. There we go. So I wanted to show you this. We're still in the skybox. You can go here to images and go, yeah, this is the one I want. This will save you a lot of time trying to load them and unload them. You can also go to the publisher's web page, which will show you all the stuff they have not of which some of which may be free some of which may not be you can't tell from here um, so anyway we have the 8k skybox with a name that matched so we found it so let's go to windows rendering lighting environment oops I sun I'm at skybox material Sky 1. Okay, those are getting better. Sky 2. We have to change what's on the ground down here, but... Yeah, I like these. It looks like water more than... Oh, that's cool. Stone. Oh, I went out of the range. Uh, it's just something that's not totally offensive. There we go. That, that works, I guess. It kind of looks like the original one, but... So, that gives us a, a sky for our game. So with that, <clears throat> you've learned how to add them, find them, and delete them because I, that one was uh, kind of ugly, but I did that on purpose. So I will end this video.